Fixing flat feet without surgery. Having flat feet can feel like you're carrying around lead weights all day. It's your foundation, and any misalignment there travels up the chain and wreaks havoc on knees, hips, and back. But you're not necessarily doomed to a life of flat-footed misery. First of all, we need to understand that the arch of the foot is not purely an anatomical structure. It's more like the Golden Gate Bridge. Its integrity relies on the cables, or in the case of your feet, the muscles and tendons that hold up the architecture of the arch. The arch can fall for several reasons, but muscle weakness and incorrect biomechanics are common culprits. If you're not looking to go under the knife, you're going to be best friends with exercises that strengthen the cables. Here are some DIY strategies. Foot strengthening exercises. Grab a towel with your toes, pull it towards you, and push it away. This helps to strengthen the tiny muscles in your feet. Also, try picking up marbles or pebbles with your toes. Your feet can handle more work than you'd think. Arch lifts. While standing, try to create an arch by pulling up the balls of your feet and heels closer together while keeping your toes on the ground. You might not see much movement at first, but it's about firing the right muscles and getting them stronger. Short foot exercise. Pretend you're shortening your foot by drawing the ball of your foot towards your heel without curling your toes. This targets the foot's intrinsic muscles and builds up that scaffolding. Balancing stand on one foot, working up to a minute if you can. This engages the muscles that support the ankle and can improve proprioception, a fancy way for saying the body's ability to sense itself. Proper footwear. Wearing shoes with good arch support can make a world of difference. They take some of the load while you're working to strengthen those muscles. Orthotics. Custom orthotics made by a podiatrist can be costly, but are tailored specifically for your feet. However, there are over-the-counter options that might do the job for less. Just make sure you consult a specialist to ensure you get the right fit. Stretching. Don't forget to stretch. Your Achilles tendon and calf muscles are part of the foot support network. If they're tight, they can pull on the heel and flatten the arch. Basic stretches against the wall can help you out here. As someone living in Portland, Oregon, I can tell you that proper footwear and foot health are paramount, especially with all the hiking and outdoor activities we love doing out here. Lastly, it's important to realize that these strategies may not work for everyone. Some flat feet are the result of genetics or structural abnormalities that exercises can't correct. However, in many cases, regularly following a structured exercise routine focused on foot strength and flexibility can lead to a significant improvement. Pace yourself and be consistent. It can be a slow journey, but improving your foot mechanics is worth the effort in the long run. Remember to consult with a medical professional before starting any new exercise regimen. And while this isn't meant to be medical advice, imagine getting to the end of the day without that leaden feeling in your feet. That's worth some towel scrunches and balancing acts, isn't it? Stay persistent.